Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping back into AFK Journey, and we're gonna talk about things that you must do, you need to focus on when you first jump into this game. So maybe you're now in there and you're wondering kinda where are the areas you really need to focus on, or you're thinking about logging in shortly, and you wanna start off quickly, you wanna start out well and really set yourself up for success as you continue to work through the game. These five tips are gonna help you because you're gonna start off strong with them. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, and welcome back. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. As a reminder, all the links to my socials are in the description below, so definitely check it out. I have a download link for you as well, so click on that if you want to download the game. We also have a promo code for you that's going to give you some gems and some gold, some things that you're definitely going to need when you get in here. All right, so in order, let's talk about the five most important things that you really need to focus on. First and foremost, you need to focus on getting to your first 30 pulls. So about three and a half minutes into the game, you're gonna get your first 10 pull. That's gonna give you Cessia. So that's this character right here. She's very useful. Definitely don't hold back on investing in her. She's gonna do well for you into the early, mid, and part of the late game. So you're gonna get her. Lucius you get typically as well. As you work through that, another couple minutes later, you're gonna get into Hollowstone. That's gonna give you an opportunity to use gems for your second 10 pull. That is complete RNG. You do have an opportunity to get an S level hero off of that, uh, but I don't think I've ever gotten it. I've heard of people getting it. <laughs> so that's your second 10 pull. And then probably about another 20 minutes into the game, you're gonna get your third 10 pull. Unless you've logged in right before reset, you get your 10 pull for logging in that day and then reset and then you get your 10 pull for the second day. So it depends on how you play it. That third 10 pull is gonna give you a guaranteed healer. So you're either gonna get Smokey here, you're gonna get Rowan or you're gonna get Hewan. Those 30 pulls are really going to set you up as you continue to work through this game. And then you're going to mix and match and play around with it as you work through the different battles, right? The reason why it's so important to get through this is number two. So first, get to your 30 10 pulls. The reason why that's so important is because that's going to unlock your wish list. Your wish list is really going to help you get the dupes and the characters that you need in order to ascend the characters that you want to ascend and build your roster out to get deeper into the game and challenge those more that the more difficult content that comes around. So the All Hero Recruitment wish list is right here. This is how I have mine set up right now. Um, one thing I like to prepare for is more of the end game, also the battle mode content and stuff that's going to be coming up with Dream Realm. So I've got Rowan and Temesia here. Those are great. You can swap Temesia out for Cassidy um, if you want. She is great. She's got some great end game damage potential um, as well. These two here, Corrin and Marilee, are great for Re Dream Realm, so that's why I have them. Um, for Maulers, I have Smokey because I want to get him up. Also, when you take a look at kind of your options, um, these, these two are the best. Brutus is good early to mid game. These other two are kind of F for me. Uh, Odie and Kruger. Odie is great throughout the game. Kruger is great for Dream Realm as well. These three characters here, really their best use is going to be in the Dream Realm. And then over for Wilders, I have a Hewan. She's my favorite healer. She heals the entire battlefield. And then you have Iron here as well. Damien and Arden, more uh, for functionality later on in the game. Also, Arden's pretty good, more towards the end game. Thorin, fantastic tank, best tank in the game, in my opinion. He's a self resing tank. You got to love that. And then uh, you have this one, Carolina. She has got some great damage. She freezes, so there's definitely some control there as well. Uh, these two characters here, I really like Viperion, does some nice damage. And then uh, this one here, Sylvina, she attacks the back row. So definitely. A good setup here, I feel. You'll see a couple of variations, but for the most part, you're going to see most of these um, are pretty consistent. And then you also have the epic recruitment here. So this is an opportunity to get some additional heroes also. So I've got, again, a lot of the same characters that I'm looking for in the wish list as well. So you want to make sure you get that set up just to give you higher potential for those S-level heroes and the ability to ascend those heroes that you want to ascend. Next is gonna lead you more into your AFK levels down here. You wanna progress into this as much as possible. Get up to level 10, <laughs> hit level 10 as quickly as possible because once you do that, that's going to unlock auto battle. Once you do that, just hit auto battle, go do something. <laughs> Let your 
uh, game get as far as it can before you start losing. Um, or there's a part in the story in the very beginning where you have to complete in order to get past, I think, uh, stage 15 or something like that. But always keep up on your AFK levels. The reason for that is because this is a story gate, right? So if I go out of here and I go into my campaign, I mean my map here, you can see all these locks here. These are gated. So I got to get to AFK stage 150 in order to get into this area of the dark forest. And then let's see, this one over here. You got to get up to AFK stage 300, all right? So make sure to stay up on your AFK stages. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting for your, your resources to generate through the chest right here until you can get further and further into your AFK levels so you can unlock the later stages. All right. So that is your AFK levels, definitely important. Also, the reason why that's important, because once you get to AFK stage 30, you're going to unlock guilds. Guilds, super important. The reason why is because you get a lot of great resources and rewards out of it. You got battle drills as a game mode for guilds, which is great. But also, you go to the Emporium, you go to your guild store here, you're going to have an opportunity to get some Celestials and some Hypogens. Hypogens? Hypogeans? <laughs> so you get these characters here. You want to, my advice is to unlock Rainier first. I think that's how you say it, Rainier. He is awesome. He doesn't even require Ascension to be very useful. And he is great in all game modes. Everything. PvP, PvE. He's definitely the one that I suggest that you go for first. It does take 30k. As you can see right now, we're on day two. I've got 4,000 right now. But this is super important. This is really the only thing you want to focus on here in the guild store is to unlock these characters right here. But definitely rainier first and then just all the different rewards you get from the guild chest and everything like that so definitely hit a guild as soon as you can make sure that they're active uh, because the more active your guild is the more rewards you get from the guild chests and the easier it is going to be able to get through those battle drills and then finally number five number five <laughs> is uh you want to unlock these battle modes as quickly as you can you get a lot of rewards running through here through arena honor duel dream realm arcane labyrinth if you want to get a better understanding of what all these are and you haven't seen them yet, I'll put a link up to um, some my playlist for AFK Journey up here where previously we went through every single game mode um, and it really gives you a good idea of kind of what to expect when you jump in there. But these are all great to make sure that you get in and you do every single day. As you can see, the final one, Legend Trial, which is a tower mode, this unlocks at 166. Uh, so you definitely want to get there. Get to 166 as quickly as you can takes a little bit of time, but you can do it. Um, and then uh, we have battle drills coming up here in about seven hours. So this will be the first battle drills uh, f since the game has been officially released. And there you go, everybody. That's what I had for the five things you really want to focus on when you jump into the game. Number one, get to your first 30 pulls so you can build out your roster and set you up for success as you work through the campaign, which is going to unlock your wish list. Get your wish, li wish list set up so that you can ascend the heroes you want to ascend and continue to build out your roster. Then you want to focus on your AFK levels, so you want to continually make sure to stay ahead of the gates so you don't get stopped and you have to wait around. That is going to get you up to a point where you're going to unlock all the different battle modes in the game and allow you access into guilds, which is going to give you some great opportunity for some characters and some rewards. So there you go, everybody. That is what I had for you. Very curious. What are some things that maybe I missed that you feel should be really focused on too in on day one as you jump into the game? All right, everybody. That is what I had for you. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, Make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.